Hey everybody. Today we have a special computer info service. It's just getting a reinstall of Windows and it's getting cleaned out because this computer is going to be passed on to a second owner. What's well, going to put it for sale at least? This is the Q Computer Company Tall Tower Max Extreme Gamer. I built this computer back in January 2010. So obviously it's getting behind in terms of specifications for a, for a gaming machine. Though it is still pretty nice. It's got a 950 watt power supply, so it's got plenty of power for upgrades. It has a Phenom 2 um, quad core 965 Black Edition CPU. It has two HIS Radeon HD 5670 video cards in Crossfire. It has two C8 500 gigabyte hard drives in a RAID stripe for one terabyte. It has up front. A Blu-ray reader and a LG DVD burner, I believe it's a burner, and a Rosewood card reader. As you can see, this computer is filthy. This computer, I don't think it was ever cleaned out between the time I sold it and now. I actually did come over and clean out the CPU core a few times because, of course, Phenom 2 CPU is running very hot and will overheat very easily so basically I'll be cleaning this thing out and like I mentioned I'll be reinstalling Windows and going through the um, certification process make sure this thing is still in top-notch condition and I'll be listening for for sale if you're interested in buying the Q computer tile tower max extreme gamer you will have to actually pick it up in Huntersville North Carolina let's go ahead and get this thing cleaned out First, I'll go ahead and take the cover off to show you the, inti the actual inside. I meant to do that earlier. But yeah, this is um, this computer is based on the AMD 790FX chipset, which is a bit dated, but of course, in 2010, now it's pretty much top of the line. Same goes for the CPU. I mean, back then, the Phenom 2 965 was pretty much AMD's top of the line quad core CPU. So let's go ahead and get you a close up. This machine is currently air cooled, but you could easily install a Corsair um, H60 water cooler to this thing. It has a 120 millimeter um, fan output on it, so you can mount the radiator. Plenty of room to mount a, um, one of those <clears throat> pre filled water cooling systems. Obviously, this system, the, pot, the um, video cards don't even have power supply connections. The reason is because this system was built, like I mentioned, it was a ton of money already as it was at that time. And the original plan was to upgrade the video cards to something newer. But the good thing is here is somebody wants to buy the system, they could easily put in brand new video cards and have enough power for most of the video cards out there on the market. And this here is a good example of why you want to have a modular power supply on your computer. Look at all those wires. Anyways, that being said, this thing is filthy. Look at those fans. Very filthy. So that being said, finally, I'll go ahead and clean this thing out. Now, I'm giving you an overview of the specs and um, what I'm planning on doing with it. And giving you an overview of the actual computer itself. Let's go ahead and get this thing cleaned out. Alrighty, it's time to let the dust fly. This is going to be a filthy one. I guess I'm going to do the side panel first. of dust accumulation right here guys.
I'm running low on air, so I gotta recharge the compressor. Okay. I gotta recharge them before I can finish this computer off. Now it's a matter of trying to get the dust out of it. This thing's filthy. Much big, <laughs> it's a very big difference. And the mosquitoes are on the move today. So definitely not a bad machine. I'll have a more detailed video on this system after I get when it's reinstalled and everything. I'll have, actually have a sale video to post them to a Craigslist ad. But despite this computer's age, it is still a um, triple crossfire machine. It will accept say to six gigabit per second hard drives. It's DDR3. I mean, the, the system's DDR3. Not sure if it'll take an FX CPU. Probably won't due to its age unless there's a BIOS update available. But I'm sure it will take a Phenom X6, a Phenom 2X6. Again, mod non-modular power supply, so a crap load of cables up here. You can get video cards for this thing. That. <clears throat> Much, I mean, much newer video cards have you a nice game machine here. So, anyways, um, that's me cleaning out this um, Tall Tower Max Extreme Gamer system. And the question or comments, feel free to ask. And thanks for watching.